All right, so today we will, I will teach you um, how to subtract time, how to subtract um, time, right? Okay, so before we begin, I want to make you all understand that anytime you are adding two times and then one is in PM and then the other is in AM, make sure you convert the one in PM to a 24 hour time. And so if you have one PM, if you have 1 p.m., it becomes 13 o'clock. So you don't add any a.m. or p.m. to this. If you have um, 3.30 p.m., if you have 3.30 p.m., it becomes 15.30, right? So how did we get this 15? We just added 12 to this. You get it? So if a p.m., if a time is in p.m., make sure you convert it to a 24-hour time. But if that p.m. is... 12 something if it is 12 something for that you maintain it you get it but if it is other than 12 it is from maybe 1 p.m to maybe 11 p.m for that you convert it, 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 it into a 24 hour time you get it all right so assuming you've been asked to subtract um 3 30 3 30 p.m and then um, 5 or let's say 8 30 a.m. So you subtract an 8 30 a.m. from 3 30 p.m. So what did you, what do you know? We know when you have a p.m. and an a.m. First of all, you would have to change this into a 24 hour time. And so this 3 30 p.m. becomes 15 30. And then we have 8 30. So 8 30. So you are subtracting, right? All right, so 0 minus 0, 0. 3 minus 3 is 0. 15 minus 8 is 7. Right, so it is 7 o'clock. Are you okay? Good. So um, what about um, 3.30 p.m. and, and um, and sorry and 10 and 10 uh, and 10 45 you get it all right so you've been asked to subtract 3 30 p.m and 10 45 and so 10 45 a.m so just as we know this has to be in a 24 hour time so it becomes 15 30 this is 10 45 a.m so 10 45 a.m all right so you are subtracting all right okay now we know that this is the minute side and then this is the hour side this is the minute side this is the hour side all right so zero minus five not possible so you borrow so here becomes 10 right good so 10 minus five is five now here is two here is two now 2 minus 4 is not possible, right? Okay, so you go and borrow some from here. Now note this. Anytime you borrow, anytime you borrow from the hour side to the minute side, when you borrow from hour side to the minute side, it becomes 6. So we are here, 3. Now it's 2. So we want to borrow some from the hour side. So when you borrow one from here, the moment you get here, it becomes six. And so here it becomes six plus two because we already have two here. So now you have eight. So eight minus four is four. Now here is four because we borrowed one. So 14 minus 10 is four. Mm -hmm. Anytime you are borrowing from our side to the minute side, it becomes six. But when we look here, because it was from the same side, we borrowed from the same side, so it was 10. We borrowed one from here to here, so it was 10. But when you are borrowing from minute side, you are borrowing from our side to the minute side. So when it crosses this colon sign, it becomes 6. All right? Okay, let's look at this example too. If we have um, 2.45 p.m. 2.45 p.m. and then... We have six 
um, 6 50 57 a.m. Please subtract this. We just as we know this 24, so it becomes 14 45 minus 6 57. So 6 57. Mm -hmm. All right, so 5 minus 7, it's not possible. So you borrow some from here. So when you borrow, it becomes 10. So 10, so here becomes 15, right? Here becomes 15. Okay, so 15 minus 7 is 8. 15 minus 7 is 8. Now here is 3. But 3 minus 5, it's not possible. So what do you do? We borrow from the minute side. And so when you borrow, one from the hour we borrow from the hour side so when you borrow one from here and you cross it it becomes six so you have six plus three so there was three here so six so six plus three is nine so nine minus five is four it's four all right so we have three here because we, we've lent one to the minute side we have three so you can 13. so 13 13 minus six is seven so this is the answer you get it and so You've been seeing most questions where let's say Opanka started sewing. Opanka started let's say Opanka started teaching teaching at eight twenty seven AM. He completed at six completed at six as Six zero six zero nine PM right okay so, so they ask you how long did he teach how long did he teach and so with this one just as we know we've been given the time they started and then the time they ended anytime you are given a question and then they give you the start time and then the end time note that you subtract the two times to get how long or the duration the person used because you've been given the time they started and the time they ended so if they ask you how long did he teach it is the time he ended which is the pm the time they closed the 6 9 pm minus the 8 27 am so this is in pm so you convert it into a 24 hour time so it becomes 8 it becomes 18 9 then we subtract the 8 27 so eight twenty seven is okay. Now nine minus seven is two. Nine minus seven is two. So two. Alright. So zero minus is not possible. You borrow. So the moment you borrow, here becomes six. Alright? Six. So six minus two is four. We learned one. So here is now seven. So seventeen minus eight is nine. So it means that Opanka used nine hours. 9 hours 42 minutes. 9 hours 42 minutes. Let's look to the last example. Okay, let's see. Adepa. Adepa started cooking. Started cooking at 8.45 a.m. Then she completed... Oh, she finished cooking. She finished cooking at 12, 12.7 p.m. Mm -hmm. All right. They say, how long did she cook or what time did she spend in cooking? Now, they give me the starting time. They give me the end time. So, what do you do? The end time minus the starting time. So, 12.7 I told you if the PM is, is is 12, we don't convert it into a 24 hour time. We just maintain it as it is. Okay. And then 845. Alright, so let's subtract. 7 minus 5 is 2. 0 minus 4, not possible. So we borrow 1 from here. So when it comes, it becomes 6. So 6 minus 4 is 2. Now here is 11. So 11 minus 8 is 3. So it means that Adipa used three hours, 22 minutes. All right. Thank you very much. And then learn very hard for me. I wish you the best on Thursday and then on Friday too. Bye-bye.